This is the third video in a series showing how to set up, configure, test, and debug MVSP on D3 and MVBase. In this video, we'll cover MVSP debugging. The most common problems with MVSP are bad MVSP password, users are not enabled, accounts are not enabled or are missing MVSP components, Linux Telnet instances, the Telnet listener won't start, Let's look at these one by one. Sometimes the MVSP user password gets out of sync. The password is stored in the D3 users file as well as in the OS Telnet server configuration file. This usually happens when a user changes the password without understanding how to do it. Sometimes it just gets whacked from an MVSP account restore or upgrade. Either way, use the mvsp.password utility from TCL in the MVSP account. Select user when prompted for user or account, then enter the password twice. The default password is AMUVTSOP, but use whatever you like. Once you've changed the password, try the Telnet hostname 9000 test to make sure you get the familiar mvsp.main prompt shown at the bottom of the slide. Sometimes the D3 user being used to access MVSP becomes disabled, again, either through user error or an upgrade procedure. You can use the MVSP config menu to see if the user has been enabled. MVSP menu option four gets you to config, then three gets you to the user maintenance screen as shown previously. Select option one to list the enabled users. As a sanity check, you can CT the users item and look at attribute 10, which should contain an uppercase Y. To remedy, simply choose option number two to enable the user, then provide the user ID. Once completed, you can repeat the steps above and you should see an uppercase Y in attribute 10 as shown in the bottom part of the slide. Sometimes the D3 account being accessed via MVSB becomes disabled, again, either through user error or an upgrade procedure. Symptoms include, but are not limited to, an HTTP 500 resource not found error when testing a web service. As with the user items in the previous example, you can use the MVSP config menu to see if the account has been enabled. MVSP menu option number four gets you to config, then number two gets you to the account maintenance screen as shown previously. Select option one to list the enabled accounts. If you don't see the account listed, use option number two to enable it. If you do see it listed, there could be something wrong with the MVSP catalog items in the account, again, due to an upgrade error. In this case, use option three to disable the account, then option two to re-enable the account, which will put a fresh set of MD catalog items in that account. Then do whatever test you were running again and make sure that you now get a response. If not, time to bring in a rocket engineering resource. Telnet instances on D3 Linux. The etc xinitd.conf file in Linux is used by the xinet service to limit the number of Telnet connections to D3. This is usually not an issue unless you're getting more than the default 10 connections to D3 as you would if you are configuring more than 10 connection pool connections. The way to detect this is to do a max users in D3 and make sure that all your connection pools are being used. If not, you need to change the config file. This will be a little harder to detect if you're not using connection pools and the toolkit makes more than 10 concurrent connections to D3. Either way, look at and then edit the etc xinitd.conf file and change the instances equals 10 and per source equals 10 values to something more reasonable. If you're not sure what's reasonable, you can just set both of them to unlimited and then restart the XINet service. Then do another max users and make sure that all your connection pools are being used. MVSP Telnet listener won't start. To detect whether the listener is started, first do a net stat to look for the listener on 9000. For Linux, log in as root and use netstat minus ANP pipe grep 9000. For Windows, use netstat minus ANO pipe fine string 9000. You should see a listener that looks like the image on the slide. 
the P option in Linux and the O option on Windows will show you the process ID that's listening. Try to start it first. Maybe somebody rebooted something and MVSP is not set to automatically start or something stupid like that. On D3 Linux, make sure you're running with root privileges by entering D3 space minus L at a root prompt. Log to MVSP, enter M to get to the menu and do a number five to check status. If it's not listening, do a number one to start it and a number five to verify the success. Then do another net stat just to make sure. If that didn't work, you need to check some stuff out. Make sure the local firewall is not blocking 9000 and on Linux, make sure SE Linux is disabled. If that didn't work on Windows, call support. On Linux, there are a few more places to look. Look at the ETC services file and look for an entry for D3 MVSP pick zero as shown. If it's not there, add it. Make sure that there's a D3 MVSP pick zero file in the ETC xinetd.d directory and make sure that it looks like the slide. In particular, that disable is set to no. Make sure that there is a file called 9000 in the user bin d3net d3mvsp pick zero directory and that it looks like the slide. After making any corrections, reload the xinetd service or boot Linux and try again. If all of this didn't do it, call support. That pretty much covers MVSP. If for some reason you need SSL for MVSP, please click that video link in the playlist. If you have any questions about any of the content we've covered so far, please contact Rocket D3 support.